So I've been wanting to film um, for the longest, but I just never really had time with school and work and being married. It was just really hard to have time to film for YouTube, but I want to be more consistent. And um, today, one of my orders came. I ordered it on Black Friday and it literally just came today. And it's the P. Louise eye bases. And I'm really, really excited to try these. Like, I know I'm probably a little bit late, but I've been wanting to try it for so long. And I finally get to try it today. And I wanted to do like a first impressions. So I wanted to swatch them so bad and just test them out, but I didn't because I wanted to try it out here on camera. So this is what they look like. Shade two and the shade zero. So shade two, um, this is more like a skin tone kind of color. And I was thinking this would be a really good color to kind of just put all over my lid. And then the shade zero, this is literally like white. And um, sometimes I feel like white bases really help accentuate the colors and make it brighter. So I was thinking that I'm going to use this white one, maybe like on a cut crease or something. So I'm going to try both of them out. And I think I'm kind of inspired by like the red that I have going on here. I already have my makeup on today. I actually, I was out earlier, literally like five hours ago and my makeup is still on like perfect. I'm wearing the Milani Cosmetics Foundation and it literally stayed on all day. And um, I'm wearing the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. Right. So let's get to it. I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna start off using the shade number two, um, Rumor Two, and we'll just get this all over my lid. I'm using my MAC 270 brush. It looks a little bit sheer, but I feel like I probably need to pack it up a lot more. So I'm gonna go in with my MAC 252 brush and I'm literally gonna like put it all over my lid. I feel like that's a little bit better. I just feel like it's so sheer. Like looking at all the videos and stuff of it, I felt like it was like so full coverage. I'm using my Sigma E38 brush. Um, just looks just like this. And then I'm going to use my Take Me Back to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this red shade. So I'm using the top of the brush. I got the product right on the top. And I'm just going to blend it in. Do like a little cut crease. And I love... Um, I love the Take Me Back to Brazil palette for like colorful, fun looks. It's kind of like, it kind of does reminds me, reminds me, it reminds me of like a cheaper version of the James Charles palette. Just because like the James Charles palette has like a lot of different colors and that's the same thing with this. literally just going to get right underneath and just deepen the crease a little bit more. This is what it's looking like. Um, I think I'm ready to try my shade zero. I'm really excited for this. I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit more pigmented, but we'll see. My favorite cut crease brush is the MAC 242 brush. I literally love using this brush just because the shape of it gives such a precise, clean cut crease. So I'm going in with the shade zero. You guys, I'm in love with this. Like this is my new cut crease shade. So, 
this is how it looks so far. I really love the um, shade zero in the P. Louise eye base. Like, it's amazing. And I'm really excited to put eyeshadow on top of it. I really feel like white is gonna help grasp onto the shadow and just like brighten it. So, um, on my lid, I wanted to do something a little bit lighter, like a silver, like a white or something. So I've got my Morphe 35V palette right over here. And I wanna use this shade. Um, it's like a silvery gold-ish color. And I'm gonna grab that right on my lid. And usually on the lid, um, I would recommend using like a flat brush versus a fluffy brush. Um, and instead of packing on the instead of packing on the product with the top, I would pack it on kind of just like sideways, just like this, so you can grab a lot of product. And literally all the product I grabbed is now on the brush. And I'm, when I apply it on my eye, I'm going to use that same emotion that I used to grab it from the palette. And I'm just going to pack it on. Ooh. You guys, this is so pretty. Look at how pigmented that is. I actually think I want to do like a silver wing liner and no, a black wing liner with silver on the top. And for my liner, I'm going to use the MAC Cosmetics Brush Stroke Brush Black. Um, this is literally all I use for wing liner. This is my favorite thing ever. If you can hold a pencil and you can use a pencil, you'll be able to use this. And I feel like it's literally so easy to do your wing um, when you use this. And for the silver on the top, I'm going to use the MAC Cosmetics Liquid Last Liner. Um, this is called Misty Me. So, this is what it looks like. I'm really loving it so far. I think I want to grab some of the red eyeshadow that I had used on in the BH Cosmetics palette. I'm gonna grab some right underneath my eye and kind of like smoke it out. I'm just gonna put my lashes on, so I'll be right back. Um, so I got my lashes on. This is a complete look for the eyes, but my face is looking a little bit greasy um, from having this makeup on all day. So to mat it down, and you guys could do this like anytime you feel like your face is oily, just grab a powder and throw it on. Um, my favorite is the MAC Cosmetics Mineralized Powder. Why this is my favorite is because like some powders, if you use it to mat down your face, it makes it like really matte. And I like that kind of dewy matte satin look, um, if you know what I'm saying. Using my MAC 129 brush. Do you see the difference? Like this versus this. <laughs> Favorite highlighter ever, the Anastasia Ambrisi. And this is literally like my everyday highlighter, like my natural highlighter, my glam highlighter, my going to school highlighter, if I do put highlighter on when I'm going to school, which I don't wear makeup when I go to school because I'm tired of wearing makeup at work, but anywho, um, this is my favorite highlighter. So I applied my lips off camera just because my camera kept shutting down, so I didn't feel like waiting for it to charge again and um yeah but um this is a finished look so i applied my anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick in hudson and mac cosmetics Quick lip liner on my lips 
and um, that's it for my look. But um, let's get to the products. So the P. Louise primers, my first impression, I probably would say I fell in love with the shade zero, but the shade two, to me, um, it wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, I love it and I'm really happy that I got it, but I do feel like it compares to a lot of other things that I use as a primer, just like my concealer. Like, I like to use a Too Faced Born This Way or the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And um, I feel like it's similar, but then again, I haven't got to play with it that much. This is literally my first impression. But the shade Zero blew my mind, especially since it's white. I feel like it really helps colors stand out a lot more, especially when I was doing the cut crease. Like, that was like, oh my gosh. Um, but I'm really happy about that one. And like I said, since it is a white base, I feel like the colors stand out a lot more since it has like literally a clear canvas to set. There's nothing really negative I have to say about it, but um, with the shade two, I was expecting something better. But overall, I am pleased and satisfied and I'm happy I bought it. And I'm extremely happy that I got the shade zero. But other than that, that's really about it. And, oh yeah. So um, please like and comment and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And, and if you guys have any video ideas, um, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys for watching me. And I hope you guys have a good rest of the day or good night or good morning or whatever it is when you're watching this. So yeah, thanks guys.